Imagine we have an object, now it could be absolutely anything, and this object uh, has a certain mass. And what we can do is we can maybe apply a force to this object. Now if you apply a force to an object and there's a net force, then the object will tend to get faster uh, and it will accelerate. And what we can say is that the acceleration is proportional to the size of the force. So a bigger force means a bigger acceleration. Also though, the acceleration is going to be proportional to one over the mass. What that means is, is that if you have something which is heavier and you apply the same force to it, it's not going to accelerate as much as something which is lighter. And we can basically look at these two equations here and say that the acceleration is proportional to the force over the mass. Or we could also write this as force is proportional to mass times acceleration. Now that's all very good and if we choose our units carefully, perhaps we maybe measure our mass in kilograms and measure our acceleration in meters per second squared uh, and we use an appropriate unit for force, then we can get rid of this proportional sign here. And that's exactly what we do. What we say is that the force measured in newtons is equal to the mass in kilograms times the acceleration in meters per second. This then gives rise to the definition of the newton. So one newton is the force required to accelerate a mass of one kilogram by one meter per second squared in the direction of the force. And that's really important. That final bit is often forgotten from these definitions. What that means then is that the one newton is also, can be also be written in uh, as basically one kilogram meter second to the minus two. And here we have our derived unit and the base units. Force equals mass times acceleration is a special case of Newton's second law. And it's special because it only applies when we have a constant mass and something with maybe a constant acceleration. It doesn't apply for perhaps to a space shuttle or a rocket that's going to space, but as it gets higher and higher, it loses its mass and therefore the mass is changing. So this one here, Newton's second law, uh, but only when the mass is constant.